How's it going? I'm Regini here. Welcome to another video. It's been a crazy month for me, but I was finally able to get into the verse and work on this, my latest harebrained project. If you've seen my other videos, then you know I have gone deep down the rabbit hole of controlling multiple characters in Star Citizen. If you're new here, welcome, and I hope you check out some of those other videos. Today we're taking it to a whole nother level. I'm going to pilot two ships at the same time. Turns out, it is, in fact, as hard as it sounds. I'm taking advantage of probably lesser known hardware and software features to get this done. The gist of the setup is that I'm using Moonlight to stream the game from my wife's PC, then using multiple virtual joysticks to send commands from my host SAS to both systems. I basically have it set up so that the little thumbsticks on each of my joysticks acts like the thumbsticks on a gamepad on the second PC. And this is how I'm flying the second ship. I'm also using voice attack to perform certain actions on the second PC. A full detailed walkthrough of the whole setup is going to be in a completely separate, dedicated video. For my overlays, I've got my left stick and right stick in the top left and top right, as usual, and I've got the mini sticks added in the center, and those are the sticks that are controlling the second PC. Uh, on the mini sticks also, there's different modes, so I can switch between the right mini stick going between yaw and roll, and then on the left stick, I can switch between just forward and aft, or having strafe in all directions. You'll notice that my yaw and roll indicator in this video are backwards for some reason, um, so you'll just have to deal with that. And then also for about half the video, the gear indicator is on when it shouldn't be. All right, here we go. These clips are mostly unedited, except for some speeding up of time here and there. But I wanted to show you how this went with as little editing as possible. Bear in mind too, this is also my first time trying it, so it was a little rough at times. All right, we're coming out of Party Quantum now. We're going to Art Court Mining Area 141, and this is kind of simulating a C2 doing a cargo run, and I'm escorting myself with an arrow. Cruise control. That's affirmative. I'm here to assist you with the ship's systems. Okay, thanks for that, Alex. Cruise control. Activating now. Alright, now that I have the cruise control off, I can really feel my brain fighting between the two ships. So you can see that I'm I'm going forwards with one ship and then I switch to the other ship and go forwards a little bit and I'm kinda of doing this leapfrogging thing because it's really hard to well, fly two ships at the same time. So that's where cruise control is super handy when doing this. Um, and I think also just practice this is my first time doing it. So it is very difficult having having your brain like hold two different throttle positions um, and kind of monitor two screens at the same time because I'm, I'm looking at the moonlight stream on my other monitor. Landing gear down. Gear down. All right, now that the gear is down, I can decouple and get into vector hold mode and get rid of all the QT symbology. Decouple. Coupling. Spool quantum drive. All right, then. Okay, so now I'm sort of switching techniques. Instead of looking at the cockpit view of the C2 using the second monitor, I'm just looking out of the arrow and flying the C2 kind of like a remote control plane. The problem here that yeah, I'm realizing right now is that there's uh, enough lag that it's kind of difficult to maneuver using this view. Unfortunately, I don't have any binding set up to go to external view on the second PC, so I'm kind of stuck with this for now for seeing outside of the ship. 
Almost got it. Just a little nose up. Should do the trick. Landing complete. All right, now I can land the arrow, and yeah, this is where I would get out and go buy my cargo or sell my cargo or whatever it was I was trying to do on a planetary surface, and then take off again. Launch complete. Well, this is pretty cool. So I'm still in vector hold mode with both ships, so they're just maintaining their trajectory straight up, and it's really easy to maintain formation like this. Okay, now I need to get the C2 coupled, get the gear up, and then get cruise control on. Couple. Coupling. Gear up. Landing gear retracted. Cruise control. Activating now. Designation, Alex. My neural network is designed specifically for combat. My origin and build information are classified. I am unique, one of a kind, efficient, logical, flawless. Good to know. All right, now I need to set a course on both ships. Let's pull quantum drive. Engaged. Actually, I need to stop both ships so that I don't have a mid-air collision while I'm in the map. Cruise control. That's affirmative. I also just noticed that the gear indicator on my overlay is messed up, so... Let's fix that real quick. There we go. Let's do Port Alisar for the station docking test. Open star map. Displaying star map. Okay, both lined up. Let's see if we can party jump. Quantum travel engaged. Nice, it worked. Quantum travel complete. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. C2 popped into existence. Uh, now let's go to Portal SR. Oh, I forgot, it's the stock QT drive on the C2 takes forever to spool. Quantum travel, engage. Quantum travel, And update. the C2 is, there it is. Okay, let's try manual throttles again. Uh-oh. Ah! Target friendly. Well, that could have been bad. 
I'm going to space myself out a little bit. Cruise control. Activating now. Trying to jinx me, apparently. Gear down. Lowering gear. Landing gear down. Request landing. Docking request confirmed. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Decouple. Flight assist engaged. Trying to land inside the terminal, apparently. Let's back that up. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Much better. Okay, get a pad for the arrow. Please proceed to sign landing bay. There it is. Just slam it in there, this poor arrow. Okay. Success. Okay, now I want to zip over to Arson to try out a planetary landing zone approach and also a vertical hangar because I think that's going to be difficult. a little close. Okay, for this part, I'm not going to speed up the video, um, at least until the final maneuvering, just because the approach to Arson was so cinematic with the sunset and the music that I'd rather just let it play. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead and just go to the next chapter. Cruise control. Activating now. Spool quantum drive. Engaged. Ah. 
I'm here to assist you with the ship's systems. Request landing. Seeking permissions. Cruise control. That's affirmative. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Gear down. Deploying landing module. Landing gear down. Decouple. Couple in. All right, we made it. None of my smoothest landings by any stretch of the imagination, but I'd call it generally a success. I'm definitely going to keep practicing this and try and get better at it, and I also want to try it in some other situations. One that comes to mind is doing some salvage. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe for more, and until next time.